Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob, last day of the trading week. Let's see what we can extract from the markets today. Scalping oil, gold, and, and the NQ. Let's go get it. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital put out there is at risk for loss. All right, so it's Friday. I My main goal is to get into this weekend in the green. That's it. So really hoping out that the morning strategies here in gold and in oil uh, fare out. Um, hoping that we get another NQ Rob reversal. Um, let's start with that one from yesterday. Uh, so that one we got a we got our only setup of the day at 11:45 a.m. and that thing went for the 35 point full take profit. Um, I unfortunately, as you guys saw in that video yesterday, was not in that trade. Um, actually, my internet connection got knocked out and I was not in front of the charts. But uh, so it sucked for me. Great for everybody else who was in that trade, which there was a bunch of people in Discord that were pretty happy about that. So hopefully uh, we get a setup here uh, again here today. So obviously oil... Yesterday, we just took a beating on our morning strategies, um, got a loss first session in oil and second session in oil. I only took the second session. That's the only, only thing I'm trading um, as of right now. Obviously, monitoring session one to see how the stats um, fare out there. So let me just put this over here just to kind of get ready for the day here. And in gold, gold was also a loser. Um, so not the morning strategies yesterday did not do so well. Um, but hey, that's a part of trading that uh, you're going to have days like that. Stick to the plan. Um, let's see what we can get here today and uh, stick around for my trade recaps. Order, sub order submitted. Order oh. submitted. All right, so here we get into our first setup in, um, our, I should say, our first trade of the morning. Uh, we get activated to a long in gold. Um, I slowed down the video in the beginning um, just so you guys can see how my entry uh, management tool that I have from Trade Devils there, how that helps you get into these trades very quickly. If you're trying to set a limit order to go long um, on a scenario like this morning uh, would have been very hard to get into that trade manually. Um, so it, I mean, I'm still trading this manually, but I'm trading using those buttons where it'll it'll pretty much put the entry order above the candle and below the candle. So it's perfect for this inside bar strategy. And then if you've got a one tick offset, you can obviously include it there or not. So. You know, kind of stuck here in a range. Um, we had a pretty, pretty decent um, downtrend, and you know, then started to kind of consolidate there in, um, uh, you know, in gold. So, you know, never really got the, um, never really got the thrust that that I was looking for on this trade, and it it was a pretty big, pretty hefty sized trade. I mean, thirty four ticks, so three hundred and forty dollars here. And um, never, this was really the only push that we were able to get on this trade and never able to really get out of this range. Now, unfortunately, we do get taken out here for a loss, um, but this thing ends up reversing and going up higher. Stop filled. 
Order canceled. All right, so here we get activated into a long into a long trade setup in oil session two. So this is the session that I trade from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time. You can see here that that red the red bar is our inside bar. And uh, so we've got an entry order to go long above and a short order to go below. Once I get activated into the long, the short order obviously gets canceled out. Um, but if you take a look at the source candle, which was a huge candle, 50 plus ticks, um, my strategy is anything that is over 40 ticks or higher, I automatically reduce my risk to 35 ticks, so which is about 350 bucks, and that's what I'm also kind of looking for in my take profit. Um, so here we've got a kind of an opposite scenario. We've got a clear downtrend in the market. We get a pretty strong reversal candle um, going up, and then we have a uh, an inside bar. So I'm that's where we kind of get that that indecision that comes into the market. And we're just looking again for that temporary thrust one way or the other. Um, and in this case, we're looking for 35 ticks, 34 ticks actually with the with the one tick of offset. And um, to pretty much be able to take our account to break even, which would be a, which would be a beautiful thing here on Friday. So, and that would obviously allow us to hopefully look for a 15 minute rob reversal down the road. Um, so, you know, and then here you get really close to your take profit and then you kind of get some sellers stepping in, you start getting kind of, you know, you could get nervous here and, and want to get out here um, for a, sl a slight profit, but you're really trying to make up the loss from earlier, full take profit, beautiful trade. Target filled. All right, and here's some bonus coverage. Um, I was able to record um, about the middle part of this trade on the 15 minute Rob reversal. Um, I was actually doing something else when I came to the charts. I was able to open it up, saw that we were in a trade, which was a beautiful thing. Uh, as as you guys know, this trade I am looking for Order a filled. one to one um, risk to reward. Thirty five points is what I'm looking for in um, for my TP, which on one um, one contract in DNQ is uh, good for seven hundred dollars. So risking seven hundred to make seven hundred on here. Um, missed this trade yesterday. We had a, another winner yesterday that I was that I missed. So having some issues, some technical issues, um, but beautiful trade here. And you know, there's um, there's a few different ways that people play this um, this strategy. You know, you can obviously lower your take profit and stop loss, maybe 25 points, maybe go to the bottom of the activation candle and kind of use that as your stop. You've got people that trail this one. So I'll explain the different methods uh, when I do my recap on this trade. But um, yeah, it's a momentum play. So we are this candlestick pattern. You obviously close the activation candle closes above the ADMA. It is the candle pattern that we're looking for. So we are looking for a that down bar, which has got the red arrow. And we're looking for the next bar to continue that downward pressure, but then reverse back up and take out um, and to take out that gr the top of that green activation candle. So and it just perfect entry on this one full take profit target filled. And there you have it. Pretty wild day of trading um, this morning. I mean. I'm having a blast. I'll be honest with you. This is um, just recording these and the interaction with the Discord and putting these videos out. Um, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So I just want to put that out there that thank you so much for the support and um, all the really nice comments that I get. So what happened this morning? Uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still thinking about that Rob reversal. I'm so happy I was able to record that. I was able to show you guys that one in action. 
Um, what a beauty of a trade. But before we get into that, let's talk about the morning strategies in oil and gold. Let's start with the loser first. Um, everybody wants to talk about just their winners. Um, pure transparency here with everything. So, or at least we try to be. Uh, so gold. Gold, we get an inside bar at 8.10 in the morning. Uh, to get into the setup, you would have had a one tick. You would have had a long order one tick above this inside bar candle. And you would have had an order to go short one tick below the inside bar candle. Um, somewhere right around there. And you're just waiting for price action to determine which, which way the market wants to go. And we got activated to the long. So automatically, once this trade gets activated, um, your short order gets deleted and now you are in a long trade. So if we go to our entry and our stop loss would be to the bottom of our source candle, about 33 ticks and our take profit, 33 ticks. We get knocked in here, maybe 40, 50 bucks of profit and then just a pure dump. Lost 300, I think it was 340 when it was all said and done, mainly because of that one tick offset. Uh, so that one hurt. So right off the bat, I mean, that's my first trade. And, um, you know, it's obviously not, not the best way to start the morning because then you got this thing that creeps in your head, right? You've got, you're down already 340. Um, and, you know, you, a strategy could be to, to call it a day. One trade, call it a day, win, lose. If you win one, you're done. You lose one, you're done. I actually think for passing an evaluation, I did a video on passing a top step. I almost think that that might be the best strategy. Um, but then you get scenarios like today where you know you've got oil session two. You know that oil session two has been doing really, really well. So I waited for it and we got it we got that um really nice setup here in sorry trying to move this up a little bit we got a nice setup here at 9 10 in the morning so obviously session two just as a recap there was no trade in session one i would not have taken that trade even if it showed up um so same same exact strategy as gold um you know you've got your your order to go long at the top of the inside bar, your order to go short at the bottom of the inside bar, and we get activated to the long here. This was a, let me just redo it so we can all see, um, because this was part of our conditions here. So if we go to the top of the inside bar right here, and we go to the bottom of our source candle, that's 58 ticks. So, you all know that, um, and if you don't, the video on the oil strategy is linked in my description. Um, anything that is over 40 ticks and higher, I automatically revert down to 35 ticks of, um, of stop loss, and I am looking for 35 ticks of take profit. And you can see this one hits beautiful, really nice trade to um to pretty much bring us back to even you know it was uh it was a really nice one so that obviously saved the friday um mentioned in my discord that cash account today was definitely in the green uh we were in the green Let's see what did we end up and the reason for that is i was i ended up taking this morning my gold trade in cash on five micros so i lost that one but then I took second session in oil with 1E Mini. So able to take a nice green day on that. And then the big one hits, the big kahuna, um, the Rob reversal. So ended up taking the Rob reversal in my cash with uh, two micro um, contracts of the NQ. So I think that trade was an extra 140 Ended off the day today, let's see, $296 up. So on the cash. Now, on this eval, you can see right up here, 700 bucks. Not like yesterday where I missed the same trade. And it was, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, 
the rob reversal hit again for seven hundred dollars 35 ticks and um just just a beauty of a trade here so this eval account is 200 i just started well i continued this one um i am 253 dollars and 50 cents with whatever commission they take out of their left to fund this one so i'll hopefully try to get that funded account that i lost last week on that dumb mistake um but the rob reversal has just been killing it and if you're looking to learn that strategy strategy is linked below um we share it all here on this channel so the discord was obviously super happy i mean there were some people in here that were taking this with two or three minis um, for just a huge profit. And then, you know, there's a few strategies here on, on this that you can, you can do. And let's kind of go over them here. So you can, my, the, the way I trade this is very simple. Once I get activated here, so just so you guys know, um, the, the rob reversal is from 8.30 in the morning, central time to 1.15 p.m. That's when I cut it off. Remember, central time. So make the adjustment to wherever you're at. And we get two setups here uh, to go short. Um, so they fit the time condition. They fit the pattern that I'm looking for. But they close above the ADMA. This is trying to go short. No trade. Invalidated. Now at 10.15, we get a setup to go long. Here you get you would have your entry, your long entry, one tick above your your candle, and you're just waiting for it to knock you into this trade, and it does. So the way I trade it is one to one, 35 point stop loss, 35 point take profit. So I'm willing to risk 700 to make 700 bucks. That's how I trade it. Now you can also do a trailing stop. So you know you can have your stop here. You're then your stop here and then your stop here. So technically speaking, you could probably still be in this trade and you could have probably made an additional $400 staying in this trade, uh, you know, with a trailing stop. Obviously, this might come back down here to kick you, um, to knock you out. So I have, I have flirted with trailing stops in the past. Um, it was, it's funny because my, the edge, when I was tracking this religiously, I haven't really tracked the, um, the trailing stops recently. Um, so it looks like it would have knocked you, no, I stayed in this trade, which the cool thing here with the trailing stop is it's pretty much at the original 35 point TP. So really not going to hurt you in this trade, but there is a slight, slightened lesson a, a slight decrease in edge or in total points bagged when you do a trailing stop. But then you get these, you get, you get, I mean, you get some moves that are 160, 140 points. So, you know, you kind of have to do what your risk tolerance allows you to do. So this was nice, beautiful trade there. Um, and I get to go out into the weekend in the green. So it's been... It's been an awesome week. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying what you guys are seeing. If you are, please make sure to like this video. Um, leave me a comment below. Listen, I read everything and I try to comment back on everything. So if, um, if there's something out there, let me know. Take care, everybody. Have, a, have an awesome weekend. I'll see you guys back here on Monday. Happy trading.